Hi everyone, it's Sarah here from Inky Doodles. Um, today I want to show you a really cool technique. It's called rock and roll stamping. Um, some of you may have seen it before, but uh, it was fairly new to me. I'd, I'd seen it, but I had no idea what it was called. It works really well with any sort of solid um, silhouette type stamps. Um, I'm going to use the um, the designer tree set for this and I think it works out really well. So first of all you take, take your solid stamp and ink it up in a fairly light colour. Uh, this is dandelion memento. And then what you want to do is take a darker colour. Uh, I think this is toffee crunch. And you want to just roll the edge of your stamp around. I hope you can see that on the camera. One thing to be really wary of when you're doing this technique is that you often you'll get ink all around the edges of your acrylic block as you can see I have done there. But what, what it does basically is it just gives you a lighter colour in the middle and a darker colour around the outside. But we're not going to stop there because we always like to do something a little bit different. I'm going to stamp onto my stamp. So I'm taking Potter's Clay Memento here and I'm inking up one of the small Paisley designs from the Perfect Paisley set. And I'm actually going to stamp it directly onto my stamp. Just give it nice firm pressure, try not to smudge it. One of the benefits of doing this is you can sort of, you can go over the edge and you don't have to cut it out afterwards. You get you get that sort of dimensional look without having to do any cutting out. So I think we can probably just fit another one in there. I hope you can see this okay at home. There we go. Now you can probably see there that the design is actually on the tree. So I'm just going to take a, a little bit of card and we're going to stamp that up. Where should we go with it? About there. Nice even pressure. And fingers crossed, hopefully this will work. There, look at that, isn't that amazing? I think it's great, it just gives you that sort of lovely distressed design. I think it looks like a bit of um, a bit of old printed fabric. Oops, we don't want a yellow one, do we? I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, put the trunk in. Sorry, I'm trying really hard not to get my head in the way but it is difficult with this overhead camera and then we're going to put some put some ground so that it doesn't look like our tree is floating in midair and I did the ground in exactly the same way using it's another one of the trees but it's really useful because basically it's just a solid oval so we go we'll do the rock and roll again so inking up in um, in dandelion memento And then we're going to roll the outside of the stamp in the toffee crunch. There we go. Uh, we could add some paisley to this one as well, couldn't we? Let's uh, just put a few bits and pieces on here for a bit of interest. Bigger block. What have I done with my bigger block? There it is. In fact, we'll use the same stamp as we did before. So here we go again, exactly the same as I did before, just pressing your stamp down. And you should be able to see there, I've got a pretty clear image. You have to be really careful not to rock, that's the only thing when you're doing this. But you've lost nothing because you can just wipe it off and start again. Try not to overlap because then it can all get a little bit confusing. So there we go, you should be able to see that now. We're just going to put that as a little bit of ground for our tree to stand on. There we go. In the um, designer tree set, you've got some really nice uh, little stars. They're designed actually, um, maybe better if I show you with the acetate, to fit over that tree so that you can make sort of like a Christmas tree if you want to but they're also really useful for going around the outside and adding um, sort of a starry sky. And because it's um, 
quite bitty you know you can twist and turn it and make it fit around your image There, I think I'm quite happy with that one. Have a bit of a tidy up. And of course, we absolutely have to go in with some tea dye ink. Well, you, I mean, you don't have to, is what I do. I, I really like this. I think it goes with the sort of vintage feel of the, um, the tree. I'll also add um, a little bit of the potter's clay as well. That's the one that I use to stamp the stars and also the paisley on the tree. So there we go. Really, really simple technique, but very, very effective, I think. Um, and I've got a card here that I did using that technique. I hope you can all see that. And what I've done there is I've just added some um, some glitter glue, some stickles just to the stars and to pick out some of the little bits on the tree. I don't know if you can actually see it um, twinkling really on camera but there we go. So that's it, rock and roll stamping and as I say not sure the name of the other technique where you stamp on a stamp, maybe kiss stamping, maybe not. But there we go, designer trees and perfect paisley and I think that's lovely. Thanks for watching.